Hi, my name is Steve, and in today's project, I'm going to take you through my process for improving my LED lighting by creating a 3D printed softbox. LED lights are really great because of how small they are, they don't put off a lot of heat, and they can get really bright. But that can also be one of the downsides depending on the type of video or images you're trying to capture as that light can be very harsh, give a lot of reflections, blow out some of the highlights. And so one great way to counteract that is to use a softbox. What I'm going to do is I have uh, made a purchase and I will put the link online, but they make a diffusion material. So this is a fabric. It is diffuse, so you can see through it, but it diffuses the light. And this is what I'll be using after I do my 3D model, spread it out. I will then put the diffusion material over the top, and that will act as my softbox. So in order to do that, the first thing I always like to do when I go into creating a 3D model or making changes is you need a good set of calipers. Yeah, you need calipers. I'm not even sure if I'd call it a good set, but you need calipers. Something to measure all of the uh, sizes of what you're trying to create. You have to know some of the tolerances of your 3D printer. Uh, so you end up making everything perfectly to size. It won't quite fit because the 3D printer and the plastic isn't perfect, so you have to have a little bit of tolerance around some of your objects. All I really need to do is I'm going to create a cover for the front of this rectangle. I'm going to just do my measurements as we go because I'm really just creating a rectangle uh, box to represent the LED lights. The only thing I do have to account for, always look when you're creating your objects you have to look for things like power cords i have the mounting hole on the bottom of the led lights so if i create a 3d object to fit over the top of this i have to adjust for those and leave an opening so we're going to switch over and start creating uh, this object in our 3d application so you'll see i'm just using the box tool manipulating some of the edges to create a rounded effect. Then I'm using some box sketches in which I use the loft tool to extrude it. I use an inset to create the outline. And then I'm using more boxes along with the Boolean tool to remove it. That's for the cord and the adapter hole. And then again, more boxes just to create the clips to hold the LED light. So as you see, very few tools, very few objects to create this. So we're over at our 3D printer. This is a Creality CR-10S that I've done quite a few modifications over the years. So if you want more information about that, just let me know in the comments and I can make a video on my 3D printer. But for now, we're going to place our LED light on the 3D printer. Make sure that the cord doesn't get too much into the way. And let's see what we get. And there's our final print, already on our LED light box. Very nice, everything fits. You can see the little tabs that I created to hold everything in place. Very nice and solid. And we're gonna take this back over to the table, put our diffusion material on it, and let's do some testing. The main thing we need to do next is get our fabric. So we have our diffusion fabric that I am going to place over the top of this. Now I have done a couple of different versions of this model, so I'm gonna bring another one in. 
This one is slightly different in which I've created an outer edge around it and I've got this ring that I can put over to make it a little bit easier to attach the fabric to it. I can take a piece of my fabric, put it over the top, take the ring, and that one, very quick, very easy. I'm going to have to put the material, probably turn it over, lay it flat, put the material on there. I'm gonna grab some of my trusty blue tape and you're gonna tape these edges onto the side of the model. So without the diffusion material, you're gonna get your LEDs. They're gonna be flashing right at you. Once we put the <laughs> material over the top, now that helps diffuse it so you don't see the individual LED lights. So we're gonna take this back over to the 3D printer because that's where I intend to use these lights is for my time-lapse uh, photos on the 3D printer and I'm going to show you a with the filter without the filter and we'll see if it has any effect.